Hey, how you guys doing? Ivy Echo X. Yeah, so request a tutorial. So, yeah, this is my two wide staircase. Um, it's got really nice animation. Um, this does work on the 1.6.2, has no orientational problems. Um, yeah, it's good to go. So, yeah, all we got to do is the tutorial. All right, so what you're gonna need is a 14 long platform by seven, and then by five in in height. So that would be the hole you'd need to dig if you were putting this in on a survival world or whatever. So piston layout. Um, so come in four blocks and then place a, a normal piston, come up four blocks, delete those, and then we can go ahead and just make this pattern here. Just like that and then we're going to place in these blocks and um, these are going to be our floor blocks just like that um, three here one there and then you're going to need sticky pistons two like that so this is what you should have now and then off of these pistons we're going to need four and these are going to hold our staircase so just like that um, yeah make sure you guys have it exactly like that and then staircases like that um, we're going to be putting stairs right there, um, but these ones will be swapped over and being powered, and then these ones. So that's going to be the overall look. So now these blocks are to make it a little bit, um, to make it more seamless. So next thing you want to do is come out five pistons like that, and then place two like that, and then two more, and then one under with two more and then one under again with two more like that you should have a spacing of two left in between there like that All right. so now we can go ahead and start on the control circuit um, so getting the first block swap is important so you're going to need to place three blocks like this and then delete that one redstone redstone and then block here and a block there with a repeater on four ticks and four ticks just like that block here and then you're going to want to make this pattern so it should be three from the center and then another two out so it should be five and then you need three and then one on the bottom and that's going to be the pattern for our circuit knock out these repeater on four ticks like that then another repeater on four ticks just like that there we go and then two torches one there and then one facing towards the repeater right there and then one more over here all right this is the input block right here all right so we can go ahead and put redstone here now um, so we're gonna go ahead and hook up the circuit to the monostable first which is block like that come up one repeater repeater on four ticks and then redstone, redstone. And we want to do the same thing. We're actually going to need um, an extra repeater here to prevent it from being powered. I will show you that. So if you put two repeaters here, it won't get powered by the torch or the lever, as you can see. So that's the only reason for having those. And then come over here, block, and then a torch right there. Remember to put that torch there. That's going to be what powers our stairs to go up and down. Then you're going to want to make this little L come underneath here and then you're going to want to do this little pattern. This is what's going to extend the first piston. So come up in here, repeater on no delay, and then redstone. So these circuits are completely symmetrical, so you'll need to make this pattern. And that's going to actually extend every single piston there. So now we need to come inside here. Um, kind of follow me on this, where the redstone is need a block on it and on top of that block a repeater with a block there then a block below with redstone and that's going to power every single piston on that side I mean that's pretty much will just do a full extension for us right now so we do need to get our stairs going up and down at the proper times so we need this circuit here so it is a, a block two blocks like that two like that torches 
and then two more underneath like that and then we're going to need an, a secondary um, circuit here this is for the extension so you'll need a torch there and here and you can just put torches directly up but it will monostable so anyway it's safer doing it that way so four pieces of redstone like that and then we need to just hook up this redstone here so a block with redstone go ahead and face it out connect it in like that then we just need this final one so redstone and then a block in front and then a repeater there two ticks don't forget the two ticks on both of those repeaters the ones there and on the other side we're gonna need a block here just to block it off so it doesn't connect with another circuit All right. so now we can do the same thing so off of this torch here come over connect it in right there come underneath two blocks in or like that and then one up you'll know you're correct because it should just be right underneath where the piston is going to extend and then don't put any redstone there just yet so now we just need to do the same thing we did on the right side so block like that one up one over one down repeater redstone and then we need to come inside and do the same thing so block up like that repeater and then kind of squeeze in here and place a block up like that down and yeah redstone and we need to go around the other side and place the block so we can get the extension on that piston right there so that's going to extend every single piston on this side so go ahead and connect the circuit now you should see them all extend if they're not extending then you did something wrong <laughs> alright so this is the final part of the circuit it's um, two pistons like that and then one over so that's three four then two blocks on top like that and then same thing pistons on top block um, should be a sticky right there with a block on it just like that so this is going to be where our dual edge comes in um, as you can see here you place redstone here and it will extend all three of those without updating anything that was the purpose of designing it like that and do the same on this side and then we will start on the <clears throat> dual edge monostable circuit um, yeah so on the side here we need to connect these in so two over and then one up like that repeater redstone going like that then we need a piston this is going to create our dual edge monostable like that so that's all done just need to repeat it on that side so same thing go oops one up like that two over two down one up sticky piston block repeater three pieces of redstone like that and that's sh that should be done that's all all wrapped up when you first run it you will see some weird animation um, you'll see here it kinda looks like it's not doing it but it is it's a lot faster than it looks um, so this works on the PC 1.6.2 and also the latest snapshot and you could just cover over the top um, just the whole thing just bury it you don't need to worry about cutting off any redstone or anything um, another thing is you don't need a repeater there you can just run redstone directly into that block um, as you can see here like that and it is possible to put a door here if you don't like looking at those pistons I actually do um, you guys can probably figure that out you just need a little 3x3 three three door there um, but anyway so that would be covered up um, yeah I really like this design it's uh, really good um, it's really solid design so thanks for watching comment like and subscribe and see you later